Hi guys, it's Jill, and today I'll be sharing you some tips on how to pass better. A lot of people confuse passing with being pretty, but they're not really exactly the same. A lot of conventionally attractive trans women do not pass. Yes, they're gorgeous, but once you look at them, you can tell somehow that they're trans and not like they don't blend into a cis, cis woman. On the other hand, there are also not so attractive trans women that when you see them, they just look like ordinary women, like plain Janes. They're not gorgeous, but they blend well enough to be passable. So once again, passing is not equivalent to being pretty. Sure, being pretty helps, but it's not exactly the same. My first step in helping you pass is to take HRT. HRT does miracles to the body. It makes your skin much softer, it redistributes the fat in your body, you have fuller cheeks, you have a wider hip, and it makes your skin glow softer and all those traits that women have. If HRT isn't an option for you, then there are other things that might help you in passing. My second tip would be to um, color correct your beard shadow and the stubble on your face. It could be around the chin, like around here. That's my number one, number two tip because the beard shadow is very prominent in males and it's the first thing that people can clock you if you don't hide it properly or hide it well enough. My third tip would be taking care of your hair. There's a difference with having a feminine hairstyle and having long hair that's quite masculine. A feminine hairstyle has to have a feminine cut. It shouldn't look like you've just grown out your hair and that's it. it that doesn't really work. For a while, when I was growing out my hair, I thought I looked good. I thought I looked feminine. And now when I look back at my old pictures, even though my hair was longer back then compared to now, I can see the difference, the very subtle difference that a good haircut makes. Bangs help a lot though, especially if you have a huge forehead like me. I'll show you. My forehead is very big and if I have bangs, it makes my head look much, much smaller and I think my bangs fit my aesthetic. It makes me look um, quirkier, let's say. Like I'm giving off, I'm I'm giving off an alternate chick vibe, like Zoe Deschanel. My fourth tip would be grooming your eyebrows. Men usually have very bushy eyebrows and very unkept eyebrows, and grooming them or plucking them helps. I suggest that you go to a professional because plucking them could be very difficult and sometimes you might get it too thin and it doesn't look pretty that way. Go to a professional because they know what's best for your face shape and how to flatter your face the best. And once they wax or thread your eyebrows, you can do them yourself once you see the little hairs growing in and pluck them. Tip number five would be makeup. This is just personal preference, so if you disagree, just do your own thing. But for me, I prefer a light but healthy and dewy makeup look. I don't like taking on a lot of product because that just doesn't look very natural to me. If you like to go out looking like a drag queen, sure, you can go do that, but to me, having on a heavy contour and the heavy eye makeup isn't really super flattering and I don't think I pass as well if I'm super made up like that, like an Instagram model or whatever. Tip number six would be clothing. Clothing can make or break one's presentation. Wearing feminine clothing helps you pass more. Even if your style is more of casual and comfy, wearing a feminine t-shirt is way different than wearing a man's t-shirt. Wearing a boat neck or a v-neck t-shirt or neckline is more feminine 
and it also shows off your very delicate decolletage. If you want to wear skirts or dresses, I suggest you wear something that is A-line or flared. Trans women like us usually have wider shoulders and you want to create an illusion of an hourglass figure or wider hips and wearing an A-line dress helps this. Tip 7 would be your voice. Honestly for me, this is the hardest thing about passing because it takes a lot of work and a lot of effort for your voice to sound feminine. Even I, even I am not fully there yet. I think my, my voice sounds quite masculine still. Earlier today, when I was um, commuting, I paid my fare to the driver and the driver said, thank you, sir. And he wasn't looking at me, he was looking at the road. So my, I think, I guess, my voice still sounds like a man to him. A tip in practicing to make your voice sound more feminine is taking a book and reading a page or two of that book in a higher tone and in a more feminine way every single day. Just constant practice makes your voice sound more feminine and higher instead of you trying to fake it and pitch it up. That doesn't really work. It sounds more fake when you do like a, hi there, I'm, I'm talking in a girly voice. That doesn't work, okay? My last tip, tip number eight, would be attitude or personality. Sadly, we live in a world where people go off through social cues that they have learned. They identify someone as a man or a woman based on gender cues that they have learned while growing up. Men are tougher, they have a certain swag when they walk, women on the other hand are supposed to be softer, and when they walk they lead with their hips, not with their shoulders. Women also have a softer speech pattern and other stuff like that. Body language is one of the most important things that can help you pass or not pass. Observe some of the women in your life and copy their body language and apply it to yourself. You'll see the very subtle differences that a masculine woman would make compared to a man. Sure, women can be tough too, but there's a difference between a tough and assertive female compared to a tough and assertive male. When you're happy and confident with yourself, it really shows and it radiates to everyone else. And I think that's the most important thing. Just be yourself and be comfortable. I hope you learned some tips and tricks on how to pass better. If you have any that I haven't shared, don't forget to comment down below and share with all the other trans women who might be watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and thumbs up on this video. See you next time. Bye!